I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. You can handle this. Not without you. was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, Families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see. Until it was almost too late. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. This all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was, a destructive person. 
Someone who could never be satisfied. By anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down.
This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. I, the Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. But shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. <sighs> this is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I have to admit, he really cares about his daughter. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But... why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are... Many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until 
I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Rose is so calm. Not like Rachel at all, really. Uh, Rachel? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Cool light. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes but it still seems hard to believe. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said,
Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Not that I would let her. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. May you always be safe. Sure, but from who? Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It reminds us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all... 
lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's like one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I... I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life used to be the only part that mattered. I 
I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's <laughs> the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about stories told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying fuck all? Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are 
less horrible than the truth we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. <laughs>